Hi guys, I'm Matt Hetherington with MHTableTennis.com and in today's table tennis tutorial I am going to be looking at the forehand flick receive and it's an area that a lot of people have been asking me about and something that everyone wants to improve. Usually I find forehand short receiving is an area of weakness for a lot of players so it's very important to develop the stroke as well as short and long pushes. So as with the backhand banana flip tutorial that I did I am going to first go over the starting position, the footwork movement and positioning and then the actual stroke itself. As with any short receive, we need to get our foot close under the table first and remember sometimes you do need to move this foot and push the stance wider in order to be able to get lower under the table. If you stand too upright or this foot is too far back, you're going to get blocked by the edge of the table. You need to get under here and that way you can get closer to the ball. With the forehand short receive we're going to come into this neutral position here with the racket forward, elbow low to the table and chest and face close to the ball contact and then we're going to start our forehand flip motion. With the forehand flip once we get into here we want to keep the racket face open and we're going to try and build as much acceleration as possible through the forearm and the wrist Again, using the tightening of the finger more at the back of the racket to try and generate that forward motion. And we're going to try and keep it compact and just keep it quite sharp. So I'm making sure that we stay low. We need to line that ball up diagonal from us in front here. Basically like half the forehand drive, using the finger on the back of the racket to really build the acceleration. A lot of players will make mistakes by coming in too high like this, or by swooping too much. We need to make sure that we're not coming up like this. We have to make sure our elbow is low to the table. That way our starting position is a little bit under the ball and behind. And of course, you want to be able to practice going down the line as well, which means your racket needs to be more open and your contact usually needs to be even sharper and a little more compact. Okay, so here I'm going to demonstrate some from a side on view so that you can just see how low your racket and elbow have to be and how close you need to get to the ball. It's important to remember when you're playing the forehand flick that you don't use too much wrist and this is kind of contrary to the backhand banana flick but when you come in here you don't want to be moving your wrist around too much because that creates a lot of control problems with the ball and also at the same time we don't want to generate or try and generate too much spin okay so with this stroke it's a lot more of a direct so we're contacting the ball a little bit more on the flatter side with the racket angle open and just trying to isolate mostly through the forearm with some tightening through the finger with support from the thumb but we're not trying to generate topspin on this ball we're really trying to build up starting below the ball and finishing through but mainly quite a flat contact now, this is one thing that you, you can practice at home uh, if you have a table or if you don't have a practice partner, at, even at the club, um, is just getting close to the ball here and bringing this hand across and then uh, practicing letting the ball bounce diff to different levels. So if you let it bounce maybe a couple of times, two or three times, you can practice the stroke. But if you want to work on a lower trajectory ball, you can let the ball come lower and you can let it bounce more times so that's one area 
even if you have a dining room table at home right now uh, that you can work on a little bit. Um, but definitely, if you have a robot or you can do multi-ball, um, those are good places to start with learning the stroke. And again, uh, finding someone who is practicing a backspin serve or a short serve and looking at different responses and different adjustments that you can make when the ball comes uh, with different spin on it. So generally, when the ball comes backspin, you want to keep the face more open this way. Some players even come in a little bit under the ball with the racket angle more open and then use their wrist to change over and through the ball like this. So they kind of scoop around. You can do a lot of creative things with it. Generally with top spin, you can play more over the ball, so close the angle. Okay, but all the time keeping this control through the forearm, not building up too much with the, with the whole arm or from the shoulder. Okay, so keeping close to the ball and then making sure that contact's a little more direct, not brushing as much. Once you get the basics with that, again, you can practice some fades or some different variations on the forehand flip. It's a very useful tool to have because a lot of people focus on the short forehand when they're serving because it's an area of weakness. It's hard for a lot of players to control. So make sure that when you're practicing it, not just against that stationary backspin ball, but also against different variations of serve, side spin pendulums, backspin, top spin. You need to try and get used to and get comfortable with making adjustments for all of those types of serves. So if you have a chance and you see somebody practicing their serve and can partner up with them, it's a good opportunity to practice your service receive. Again, a lot of players isolate the service practice. They know the importance of service practice, so they practice it just by itself so they can focus. You need to do the same with your service receive. If you want your service receive to improve more than just during your regular training. So hopefully, again, some useful tips there, keeping it very basic, obviously. Um, with the forehand flip, there's a lot of room and ways that you can improve it. So hopefully you take those basic foundations and go and work on your forehand flip receive. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm going to be back with another coaching tutorial video tomorrow.